freedom. You know, I have three questions, and the answer to these three questions will let you know if you have freedom, if you're in a trap, or if you're on a road to generate that freedom in the future. Right? If you have to take two months off from your job for whatever emergency or personal reasons, uh, whether it be to take care of your family and so forth, but you still generate income, you still provide for your family, and you're still being a blessing to other people's lives, you have freedom. If you have to take one month off from your job, but you risk losing your income, you risk losing your, your, your home, and you risk losing your job, you're in a trap. If you have, if you already own a home and you have passive income, meaning that you make income and you don't have to be physically present, you own, you're taking the necessary steps to generate freedom, freedom in your future. All right, back in 2009, I purchased, or back in 2010, I purchased my first investment property, right? In 2009, I reached out. In 2009, I woke up. Um, I was working in the oil field. i give you the scenario. I was working in the oil field. Uh, I was only making, but well, the problem was, I was working in the oil field, right? So I was working out in the middle of the woods. Um, I was making $7 an hour. You're working in the middle of nowhere, so it's not, like, possible for me to work a second job to, to create any other income but so i'm in the oil field i'm only making seven dollars an hour um I'm upside down i, I have over sixty thousand dollars in debt all i had to my name was a um was a 2008 cadillac escalade um the the payments on it was like 950 a month uh, i had student loan debt and my, my credit was shot so in 2009 i reached out to the bank and realized that i was denied um denied a loan i couldn't make an investment but what had happened is I woke up, man, and the light went off. The light went off and I realized that I was in a trap. This was not the life that I dreamed of when I was in school, right? So um, that morning when I woke up, man, I, I just realized my situation. I was in debt. I was only making $7 an hour in that current situation. I wasn't in a position to make any other passive income. And, and in the office, I had a funky roommate. You know what I mean? Like, I had a funky roommate. You know, a, a grown man, 23 years old, making $7 an hour, with no investments to my name outside of um, debt, with a funky roommate. I realized you know, I was in a trap, and I had to do something different. So I made a phone call. I reached out to somebody um, who I thought was doing better than me, right? And I thought who had the answer. And um, this is a word of advice. Don't believe everything you see on social media. Don't believe everything you see in the public because what you see nine times out of 10 is not true, all right? But I reached out and uh, reached out to somebody who I thought was doing better than me. I got some little advice about what they had done to make some investments. So I took those contacts and I reached out and made a contact. It was a credit repair um, lady. I did a consultation with her because I was trying to fix my credit so I can at least be in a position to purchase a home. And um, I paid her fifteen hundred dollars. All right, so you got to catch, you got to follow me now. I paid her fifteen hundred dollars. She told me to get an account with Equifax so I can monitor my credit, and whatnot. I did everything she told me to do. Um, about two months later, two and a half months later, I tried to follow up with her to get an update. So I didn't see any movement on my credit. Didn't get any updates from her. Come to find out, she took my money and disappeared. So um, that was my first life lesson, you know, on this journey. Look, if in order for you to really achieve the, the, the success and be in the place where you want to be, you have to get educated. You have to learn this stuff. You have to learn this stuff for yourself, at least so you can understand. Because if not, you leave yourself vulnerable to be taken advantage of at every corner you turn. At every corner you turn. So what I realized that I needed to learn, understand credit myself. So I took that account at Equifax and I went and I started to figure out how to rebuild my credit, right? So by 2010, about eight months later, I was able to purchase my first home. I was still only making $7 an hour. I was able to get rid of some debt and uh, instruction myself to be in a position to purchase a home. So the main thing I did though in, 20, in 2009 was I took action. I took action. I didn't accept the fact that I was in a trap. Look, you can go to the link in my bio, callsfamilia.com. Go to the events tab. We have two events coming up. We have two events. One this weekend on the 18th, 
Um, uh, it's a home buyer workshop from A to Z, teaching you all the details about home ownership. We're going into the credit, we're going into your tax returns. We'll teach you how to generate that passive income to position yourself to generate freedom, to create that freedom in your life for the future. And for those who are already in position to be a homeowner, we have another event for you coming up on the 25th. It's a blowout sale. It's another event you want to take advantage of because this is another step for you to be in the process to create that freedom in your life. Look, man, don't be scared. Don't be afraid. We're putting the options out there. Look, back in 2009, I accepted the fact that I was in a trap, but I didn't accept the fact that I had to stay there. I took action, and so can you.